Hi, I'm Barry List of Informs, and you're watching the latest in an online series about the best ways that your organization can use analytics. This segment is devoted to merging intuition and analytics. Our guest today is Carl Kempf of Intel. Carl is an Intel Fellow and Director of Decision Engineering. Carl, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit about Intel and your role there in relation to analytics. Well, we've been uh, applying operations research and management science for almost 25 years. Craig Barrett hired me in 1987, um, and we've applied uh, ORMS to designing factories, ramping factories, running factories, designing our supply chain, setting inventory policies, uh, contracts with our material suppliers, the Edelman uh, finalist presentation I gave on uh, contracts with our equipment suppliers. But lately, over the last three years, I've moved uh, my own personal efforts much more into our product development area, market models, portfolio management, uh, roadmap, what if tools, et cetera. So pretty much, my, and my, my group pretty much serves everybody in the company. Let's talk about uh, intuition and analytics, and we, we'll begin with the pros and cons, and then see how they can be brought together. How do you define intuition, and can you tell us about one or two advocates uh, for using intuition? Well, as you, uh, since, since you and I have done these interviews a few times before, you know my mantra is, the math is necessary, it's not sufficient. Uh, intuition, what I mean by intuition in this case, uh, is the fairly standard psychological definition of intuition. It's bringing your entire life experience to bear on the problem in front of you. But it's an unobservable process. It's happening in the subconscious part of the mind. Uh, who are the critics of using intuition? What's their Well, there are two. If you, go, if you go look at the intuition literature, uh, you find at least three camps. At least I do. Maybe there are more. There's, mm -hmm. there's, the, there's the camp uh, probably the most famous person in that in in the intuition is often uh, a really good thing is Malcolm Gladwell and his book Blink and there's a, a community of folks who uh, who think intuition is pretty cool uh, certainly Danny Kahneman who won the Nobel Prize in economics for showing us how biased we are uh, would caution us that uh, intuition you better be careful uh, you bring lots of biases to every decision problem. But there's a third, uh, there's certainly a, a, a third body of literature um, that says, well, wait a minute. If you're the world expert on something and you've been working in the area for 25 years, your intuition in that area is pretty good. Uh, you might not want to trust it for anything else. I'm always, I'm always amused on the late night television shows when they have a movie star on and they ask political questions. It's like, <laughs> why, why would you think this person who's really good in one area would have blinding insights into some other area through their intuition? So there's also a pragmatic uh, way of looking at intuition. Well, the, the, there, are certainly, there are certainly many senior executives in companies uh, that I won't bother to name on camera uh, who believe that they're senior executives because their intuition is superb. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think any of us would argue that Steve Jobs had some pretty good intuitions about how things should work. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a spotty process. I mean, the, dif the difficulty for me is it's, un it's unobservable. And the and, bottom and, line is just that. Well, and you know sometimes your intuition is right and sometimes your intuition is wrong. And given that it's an unobservable process, a priori it's hard to tell which, which are the times that it's good and which are the times that it's bad. Let's turn to analytics. Uh, can you give us a short definition and what the advocates say on its, on its behalf? Well, the, obviously, obviously at this conference, uh, the analytics conference, uh, we all say, well, analytics to the rescue. Uh, applying math that we know is very strong, been developed by very smart people over very long periods of time, provably correct. But what we have to realize is that the analyst comes with a strong, strong toolbox of, of, of mathematical uh, techniques. But as far as I know, and I think this conference demonstrates it, all the analysts that I've ever run into are humans. And Kahneman won the Nobel Prize in economics for showing us all that we bring lots and lots of biases to every decision problem. So for me, 
uh, in juxtaposition to intuition. When we do analytics, the analyst has to reach into the toolbox and use his intuition to see what's the right tool to pull out. The analyst has to build a model that includes variables and constants and, uh, and relationships between them, and they certainly bring some intuition to that. And then, of course, the analyst needs to go off and get some data. And in my experience at Intel, I either have so much data I have to select a subset, or I have so little data I have to embellish a little bit. Bottom line is, uh, the math is correct. Uh, the results from the model are not some, some, I'll say the same thing I did about intuition. Sometimes the results of analysis are right, sometimes the results are wrong. The math is always right. Were the assumptions right or not? I don't know. Some, somebody built a model of the housing market that said house prices never go down. And you see where that got us. Right. And how would you find a meeting of the minds between intuition and analytics? Well, that, that, for, me is the, that for me is the crucial factor. And I'll, 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 if, you have, if intuition, if some people work, and I'll exaggerate to make my point, if some people work purely on intuition, and sometimes it can be right and sometimes it can be wrong, and other people work completely on analysis, on analytics, and sometimes it can be right and sometimes it can be wrong. Clearly in a big company, what you need to do is to find a way to merge the two. They each have pros and cons. Um, and and that's, the, uh, that's what I spend a very large percentage of my time at Intel doing. Um, and again, I'll exaggerate to make my point. And I don't mean to, uh, whether we're talking about uh, all the other companies, uh, the, the other folks that I talk to here at the conference from other companies, exactly the same problem. This isn't an, an, an Intel issue. There's certainly some intuition, uh, some people who function on intuition who don't need no stinking analytics. There's certainly some analytics folks who spent their career as PhDs proving theorems and don't really want to go out into the business and look at some heuristics that these business guys are using. That's the problem. If you can't get the folks with the intuition to have a little respect for the people doing the analytics and see that there's some value, and, and perhaps the harder problem is to get the analytics folks to have some respect for the intuition. If you can get the two working together, uh, that's, that's the trick. And what I spend a lot of my time doing is getting the, the, the math guys who work for me uh, to recognize that their model may be pretty good, but it's probably wrong, and we need to go ask the business guy why it's wrong uh, so that they can give us some of the business intuition that we didn't put into the model, and vice versa, that we need to, when we, when we present a, a if you like, non-intuitive result to the, to the person with the intuition, we have to be able to explain it in agonizing detail in their terms so that they get the power that the analytics is bringing. But if you can merge the two, you're, you, you, get a much better, you get a much better answer, a much more useful answer, a much more realistic answer that you can, than you can get either with either individually. Thanks, Carl Kemp, and thank My you. Pleasure for watching this quick take on analytics from INFORMS, the Institute for Operations Research and the Management Sciences. For more about INFORMS, visit us on the web at www.informs.org. Thank you.